to this video. So today we're going to be doing one of my favorite things. My name is Cami. If you've been here a while, you know I love to do foundation wear tests and skin tints and tinted moisturizers, etc. If it's for the face, if it's complexion, I am absolutely in love with trying it out. So today we're going to be trying the Essence 16 hour cover and last powder foundation. Oh, it comes with a mirror. The product does come with a mirror and you get a powder puff here, which I'm not going to use today. I got the color brown sugar. It's the number 12. You can just get this at Ulta. I'm at the app to find out the price for this because I don't remember how much it was. I bought a lot of stuff during that trip and the 21 days of beauty stuff is up and I'm like, oh, I want to buy that. I want to buy that. Oh my goodness. Oh no. I just went shopping. I don't need any more. All right, $5.99. You can find it for $5.99 at Ulta, and it comes in, it looks like eight different options. Maybe that was one of the reasons I didn't upload the other foundation that I tried out. I think it's like the Pretty Natural line or something. I just think the color, just the undertone of it, just I couldn't get it to work for me. Just so you know, there is one more color that comes after the color that I bought and it's the darkest one that they offer online and that is it and it is called 14 espresso honestly like liquid foundations and like liquid skin tints have been where I've been living for like a year and a half powder foundations are just like it reminds me of Mac like I just want to go to the Mac store and see what you know what new studio fix packaging they have okay so this looks like it's a pretty good match between my face and my neck that is what I do I usually match to my neck that way if I don't want to put makeup on my neck I don't have to we're gonna be using a brush on one side and then we're gonna be using a sponge on the other I'm gonna let you know which side I like better so just to give you just to give you a little overview of my skin you guys I do have texture so my skin is not smooth that's what that means my skin is not smooth on my cheeks I also have some smile lines I'm not 12 anymore so if you have any of those types of skin things going on then I'm gonna try this out and let you know how it wears for me I put primer basically just in my t-zone I get oily in that section where I told you that I have texture. I like to put primer right up under my eyes. Okay. My sponge is fully saturated. I feel like I'm dabbing on a liquid product because that's what I'm used to. I I almost don't even remember how to use a sponge with a powder foundation anymore. All right, so the color looks to be fine. Oh, I forgot how powder looks. Wow. Okay, so what I'm noticing is, I don't know, it's coming out a little ashy. Maybe I'm just not used to the powder quality. I'm used to like the liquid quality. It's all I've been using for a while. It seems to be like a light to medium coverage because I can still see like a little bit of this or maybe just the undertone isn't perfect for me. This is also one reason why I put brow gel in my brows after like the entire look is done. All right guys, so that is the sponge side done. I do think this is the best color I could have picked with I think it's just the eight choices. I feel like probably concealer would be able to cover this up after this. So let's go ahead and use a brush on the other side. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like with a powder foundation, I feel like I have to use a lot. Like I have to build it up. I think that's like my natural inclination is to go back into the product like a million times. This is a great run out of the house foundation. If you just have to mattify your skin with some coverage really fast, this is a great pick. Yeah, I really feel like this is medium coverage, medium to full, you could probably build this up. I feel like it covered the blemishes on this side pretty good. And then you can just kind of barely see this really 
dark brown hyperpigmentation that I have from acne scarring, but I feel like a lot of people would say this is full coverage. I can still see hyperpigmentation. I've got, I've got that one test going on on my face, you know what I mean? This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer, full coverage concealer. Okay, so hopefully this doesn't do any moving the powder product around because I ended up putting the powder product on my eyelids. I think you guys saw that. I really actually should have put this concealer on first, but I'm not used to it. I'm not used to it because this is like a cream product and you want to put cream products on before your powder products. Ah, I'm not used to it. You know, sometimes it's okay to use cream on top of powder, but 20 years ago, you could not tell people that. Nothing, un it doesn't look unusual. Like if I walked into the room and you were talking to me up close, you wouldn't think I put cream on top of powder just now. Mm, you wouldn't know I use cream on top of powder. Mm. All right guys, so let's go ahead and use the bronzer and see how it lays on top of the makeup. It is the NYX, it's like a duo stick. You've got some cream product on one side, another cream product on the other. So this is called the Wonder Stick. It's a dual ended face shaping stick. And I got the color Rich. Should It should stay the color I see, but when you blend things out, like you always get surprised. Okay, so I think that this actually looks pretty good together. So it's a cream, another cream product on top of powder, and I think we're safe. So let's start with the Profusion Cosmetics Peach Blush over here. A Profusion Cosmetics Blush, it's pulling coral. This is called Best Tea. In my opinion, I feel like this is going to be just like a gloss and it's not gonna be that pigmented, but we'll see. That got me like really hyped up about blush. Cute. Okay. Cream blush plays well. All right guys, so we are completely done with all the powder and cream products except for the face powder. So I'm gonna powder with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in the color, I believe it's Honey. Even though this is a powder foundation, I'm still gonna do what I normally do during a wear test, which is powder. We always set the face at the end, you guys. I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Matte Finish Setting Spray. Okay, it's about six hours later, you guys. It's 12.29, I think six hours is probably an okay amount of time to do a wear test. Um, this actually is holding up much nicer than I thought that it would. I just haven't worn a powder foundation in so long. Um, so it did sink into like my smile a little bit, as you can see. I think also maybe this is just I didn't use a primer that I normally would use. I could use a stronger primer to avoid that, so I think that is possible. Let's read how many stars this is getting at Ulta.com. Uh, well, not Ulta.com, on the app. So the Essence 16 Hour Cover and Last Powder Foundation is a long-lasting pressed powder foundation that gives a smooth matte finish without any caking. On the Ulta app, this has 19 reviews and it's averaging 4.2 out of five, which is pretty good. So supposedly this is waterproof. It's also supposed to be long lasting oil and shine control for refined pores. Honestly, like this is a fine product, honestly. Cause, and I can just use concealer over that. I can use concealer anywhere on my face, just in this area, it's right underneath my eye. So I can use the eye concealer that I would use. This is still a perfectly fine powder foundation. I went outside, I have stayed inside. I did some cleaning, I was like sweating. There's a heat wave happening in Los Angeles and I've been wearing this for about six hours. And so at six hours, if I were that type of person, if it was not like a wear test day, like if I wasn't doing the wear test, I would reapply some powder in some areas if I wanna take pictures. That's actually what I'm gonna do later after this video because I wanna take some pictures today. So I will be re reapplying the uh, Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder for that reason. But for the wear test, you guys, I think that this is a fine product. I really, really think that it's got me excited about powder foundations again. I can't wait to try more. So this product doesn't feel like drying or problematic in any way. It doesn't feel like heavy. I don't feel like I need to run and wash my face. 
Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of powder. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this product or if you're interested in trying this product out. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my very next video. Bye.